on this day of Sadhguru Baba, when I <clears throat> taking everyone's loveful remembrances, was invoked, invited by Baba to be with him. It was very lovely to then be with Baba and Baba with his very, very lovely drishti was looking at each one of us as a gardener watching his flowers. and helping birds or half blossom to become full blossom. And like as Baba was giving Drishti, internally everyone was opening and becoming lighter and then Baba looked at me said, Baba, I have brought bhog for you. And Baba gave a lot of um, drishti and accepted bhog. Baba, I want to thank you today, especially. It's a teacher's day. You are our supreme teacher. So Baba smiled, thank you for what? He said, being a good teacher. <laughs> you think Baba is a good teacher? Yes, supreme teacher, knowledgeful. So Baba said, what about all of you? You are all also teachers? All are teachers, raise hands. All are teachers. Right. So are you also teachers like Baba? Hmm? Hmm? Percentage. Hmm. Baba is actually Supreme Father first, then Supreme Teacher, and then Supreme Guide, Guru, Sadguru. Baba says that really it might be that you have same father and teacher. But here, Supreme Father adopts children and doesn't need to send them to university or school right, or college, but he himself teaches. So, Father's love plus teachings of a teacher. So it's love combined with teachings. Love combined with teachings, not only teachings. But sometimes children try to teach But there's no feelings of love. That is the percentage. Baba's love, teachings, and Sadhguru's blessings. So are you able to do three combined? Love, teaching, and bestower of blessings. Then Baba said, you all, whatever experience you have in your life, Baba's sustenance, teacher's teachings, and Sadhguru's blessings. So what is making you 
worthy, sensible, mature, right? Even father and teacher, they know that all children cannot be same, all students cannot be same. But their love, their sustenance is equal. Baba never differentiate who should listen morely or not. Or, but Baba gives full attention, full love to every child. And that helps children to constantly keep courage, enthusiasm. Because when you are higher in studies, not necessary it's the volume of study, but it's the subtle, it's very subtle. Even when it comes to dharana, inculcation, everything is very subtle. But Baba's love helps the soul to continue with the study. Study helps in its own way, but love of the Father and the teachings combined. So Baba says, everyone, as you also raised him, his teacher, but you have to see, to keep teaching is not just through words, right? But it's very deep, like Father's love, and with that he is teaching. So is it, you know, then I was remembering when Baba said, because for us, Shiv Baba as a teacher, we experience through Brahma Baba, we experience through Dadi Prakashmani, Dadi, all Dadis, right? Because they were following Shri Baba. Brahma Baba in the morning, of course, Amrit Vela was different. Very, very smiling, full, blossomed, walks in the classroom. It was only in history hall, not even in meditation hall, because that was built after. Then Baba will come immediately like we could just feel Baba's love and total attention. Like we will just look at Baba. One of the reasons we will keep looking because we knew, let's see when she Baba comes, you know, so we will Concentrate on his forehead. Brahma Baba, now when is Shiv Baba coming? Let's see. Because we want to feel that, right? So we were very much, not even for a moment, we will move our eyes away from Baba's forehead. Remembrance was of Shiv Baba looking at Brahma Baba just to experience that is Shiv Baba coming. And today, each one of us, we know that Baba's teachings have made us very elevated. Our thoughts are elevated. Our words are always elevated. Our interaction with each other, very elevated. Because each one of us, we will be, we have, we are examples, right? Whatever I am, the way I do, then others will follow, right? 
So I said, Baba, this village is celebrating a big festival. <laughs> so Baba said, are they too busy? I said, must be. <laughs> are you all too busy? Hmm. Baba said, it is not just uh, how, what you put up in tents and exhibitions. People will come to see that. Hmm. But they will also want to see living exhibits. Which are living exhibits? Where are they? You all. <laughs> so remember that. That they will be watching for not only exhibits in the tent or on the aisle, but living exhibits. So create such unlimited, loveful, peaceful, powerful atmosphere. So it's not only they say, very good, food is good, this is good, that is good. But they should say that all living exhibits were very loving, but they were very sweet. They were very kind. The Drishti had power. So that should be their experience. Baba is watching. Baba is with all of you. So, don't look tired. Hmm? as if you have done so, and now you are falling, right? Or where you sit, you sleep. No, no. No. Hmm? What you say? Everyone should look, huh? Everyone should look very, very full of light and might, light and might. So internally, keep yourself very much charged with God's love, fully charged. And then Baba gave, said all the teachers, all Baba's instruments, Everyone has aimed to be like Baba, but still pay attention. Don't get caught up into little, little things. Help others to keep increasing their hope, their courage, their enthusiasm. Nobody should get disappointed. And that can only happen when there is I am sister, I am teacher, and I'm also guide. I am brother, I am teacher and guide, also guide. So lots of love from Baba and happy Teacher's Day to everyone. Om Shanti.